tourism is a worldwide multi-billion dollar business and growing, but it can be a risky proposition because of lax standards and oversight to address medical malpractice. Now, we tried to find statistics on how many of these surgeries led to infections, disfigurement, even even death. But those numbers, they're not tracked. Now, you can save money, but you could also be rolling the dice with your life. One Columbus woman found that out the hard way, and she's sharing her story to warn others. But some of the images you're about to see are graphic, and you may find them disturbing. I just can't believe that you could do something like this to somebody and then not even show no type of remorse. For the past 10 months, Periel Wallace has been living her own personal nightmare. A trip to the Dominican Republic for liposuction and breast augmentation not only left her disfigured. And when they unbandaged me, I just screamed. I just started screaming like I, I couldn't believe what I was seeing. Like it literally looked like a child took a scalpel and just cut me up. It nearly left her dead. I felt extra weak, like I just did not feel right. Something just felt wrong. By the time she arrived home to Columbus, Periel was in agonizing pain. She shared her medical records with us. They show she was admitted with what doctors described as a raging infection. She says doctors told her it was most likely caused by unsterile medical equipment. I was so angry at myself that I allowed this to happen. That's how I felt. I felt like it was my own fault because if I would have did more research, you know, this wouldn't have happened. Periel knew women who had procedures done by the same doctor in the Dominican Republic and had great results. She expected the same outcome. She, in my opinion, she's a monster. It, that's, how, that's how I look at it, because not once has she even just acknowledged me to say I messed up. And here we have to provide that, which... Dr. Bivik Shaw is a board-certified plastic surgeon here in oh. Central Ohio. He says what happened to Periel is heartbreaking, but sadly, he says it's more prevalent than you might think. So I have had... Uh, five people that I've taken care of, and we routinely get phone calls, I would say at least one or two a month, of somebody that has gone somewhere else outside the country and had a, a major problem. Dr. Shaw agrees that traveling abroad for medical procedures can save you money, but the risk is much greater. Doctors outside the U.S. don't have the same regulations and safety protocols to adhere to. There's no state medical board to hold them accountable, and there's no legal recourse for patients when something goes wrong. I think instinctively people trust doctors, to a certain level at least. So when they see a low price and a doctor that will do it, there's trust that there's no way they're going to hurt me. But Periel did get hurt. How could you butcher my body that way and then not take any accountability? We tried to get an answer to that very question. My name is Yolanda Harris, and I work for a television station, a CBS affiliate in Columbus, Ohio. The woman who answered identified herself as the doctor's coordinator. She confirmed Periel Wallace was a former patient, but refused to answer any questions about her procedures or what went wrong. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the Dominican Republic may be the most dangerous place to travel abroad for cosmetic surgery. Researchers discovered higher rates of post-surgery infections, complications, even death among patients who traveled there. It's so easy to forget that plastic surgery is real surgery, that you can have serious complications, you can die from it, and money is important, but it can never be more important. Dr. Shaw does not recommend going out of the country for surgery. In fact, he advises against it. He agreed to meet with Periel to examine the physical damage and devise a plan for correction. All right, let's take a look. Just uh, kind of... Keep the gown off to the side. Just kind of relax your shoulders for me. But the emotional damage concerned him just as much. You know, when I talked to her today, I saw such profound sadness. And it broke my heart because I could tell that she was just in this place of being mad at herself for making that decision. I pretty much lost my mind for a while, so I ended up in a psychiatric hospital. Periel says she is not the same person she was 10 months ago, but she is a survivor. And I decided that I wanted to fight for myself because I deserved that. I deserve to live. I deserve to be happy.
Now, the main takeaway that we want you to get from this story is to do your research. If you're looking to travel abroad for any medical procedure to save money, talk to a plastic surgeon locally first. Know the risk and know what to look for in a surgeon. The cost savings is not worth your life. Now, we have a link to the CDC's website with advice on medical tourism and a few other links. You can find them at... Hi, guys. Welcome back to the channel. So we just reviewed or we just watched a video of a lady who traveled to the DR and she had a breast reduction um done surgery. And it did not turn out so well. She got a horrible infection and this has emotionally and also physically have done and mentally all around have done damage. Um we have to love ourselves what we can work on we can work on if you can exercise it out if you can scratch it out it's things that we have to do in order to love ourselves because putting your health at risk is a no-no like that's it's a no it should be an automatic no um We have to just truly love ourselves as to where we are. Embrace that you have big eyes. Embrace that your boobs are bigger. Uh, embrace that you're, you have alopecia. And just embrace it. Just wear it and love it and hold on to it. Because it's you and it's been you for a very long time. Um, embrace that you are darker. Embrace that you you know, uh, are skinny. You can't gain much weight. Um, embrace these beautiful things. And um, it, doesn't, it doesn't have to be fun and in an uh, ill-mannered way. But you have to look at yourself in the mirror and say, this is who I am and I can become better. I can love myself and I can teach another woman to love herself. And then that woman can teach another woman that she knows that she can love herself. We can do this. I can do this. You can do this. You can love yourself. You are beautiful just the way you are. I'm out, guys. Like, subscribe, leave a review.